Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, I don't even know, episode 43 maybe? We are cruising through the post game and in the last episode we arrived here, we did the Icefall Cave, we arrived here on Six Island, we went through the water path-ish, and now we are going to continue on. We've seen some new Pokemon which is super cool, and now we're here in the Pattern Bush. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of the Pokemon that we can find here in this area. Alright, so let's go through Pattern Bush as fast as we can. So the first Pokemon that we're going to look at is Ladybug. It's a 30% encounter rate in Leaf Green and a 5% encounter rate rate and fire red it, it's evolved form is not available unless you evolve it which is Ledian, Ledian or Ledian. uh to me it looks like a superhero super cool a bug flying type though means that it's quad weak to rock which is not very good also those stats not very good at all with that defense of only 50 that means that a rock type attack is going to crush this little bug uh it's it's okay i guess i do think it is better than the next pokemon which is spinarak spinarak is a 30 percent encounter rate in fire red and a five percent encounter rate in leaf green and it's evolved form Ariados is not available. Obviously, you have to evolve it. They're the, you know, they kind of, Lediba and, and Spinarak kind of go together. Its abilities, Insomnia and Swarm. Obviously, I think that Insomnia is going to be better because of that attack stat and that special attack. You're not really going to be doing too much. Anyways, it is worth mentioning that Ariados, that attack of 90 is pretty decent. However, it suffers the same uh, fate as Ledian with its stats just being so crummy and its speed being so low that this thing will take a hit. Bug Poison is a little bit better of a typing than Bug Flying but still not great there are better bug types in which by the way let's look at that better bug type that is heracross 20 percent encounter rate heracross is a beast a bug fighting type pokemon which is pretty gnarly its ability swarm and guts get it with guts just get it with guts don't even worry about swarm get it with guts this thing is incredible that attack stat of 125 is going to demolish things stab megahorn and stab close combat uh stab fighting and bug type moves are going to wreck whatever you're fighting if i was playing this game and i wasn't playing it on a let's play and recording i would actually switch out my hitmonlee for this heracross i would in a second because it is so good highly recommend it even now pick this up for your team if you want it all right so we're obviously going to fight some trainers and we're going to try to catch as many of these as we can now we're going to be able to take out that farfetch oh he has two farfetch oh you poor guy you're the worst trainer in the world uh and i'm going to switch to bahamut as well uh just because we're going to be fighting a lot of pokemon that are going to be super easy to take down with the one and only uh bahamut the king of flames uh so we'll be facing all of these trainers uh oh unfortunate for you wait whoa 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 oh right 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 we'll just go ahead i shouldn't be using special attacks at all on her uh because her her defense is literally five i should have just used fly literally her defense is five but that's the first chancy that we've fought in a battle which is pretty cool uh right here is obviously a bug catcher uh we'll be able to take him down uh we haven't battled the bug catcher in a really long time a level 48 venonat a level 48 venomoth easy peasy lemon squeezy and we can go ahead and take down this guy as well who's going to have a sand slash and a onyx uh all right that was pretty easy i wasn't expecting to take them down that easy but that's fine and we will get a pretty decent amount of money for that battle and we want to make sure that we catch this Cool, so Spinarak was added to our Pokedex. Not a big deal at all. Uh, and we will go ahead and take her down as well. I, just a flamethrower, her poor little Paris. Level 58, and Paris again. Wow, these trainers really don't have any good Pokemon in Paris sects. I feel so bad for you guys. I feel so, so, so bad for you. All right, let's see. Oh, perfect, a Heracross, which was the Pokemon that we were indeed looking for. Uh, we want to catch one and show it to our dear little friend there that was like, Heracross, Heracross, it's your man. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're going to see if we can try to catch it. I'm going to see if I can hit it with a Brick Break. Okay, good. Um, and an Ultra Ball. Not able to catch it. We only have five Ultra Balls here. So let's hope that... There we go. All right, so we were able to catch a Heracross, which is awesome. Uh, as I said in the bio, Heracross is one hell of a Pokemon. Usually docile, but if disturbed while sipping honey, chases off the intruder with its horn. Give a nickname? No, that's all right. I love Heracross. Uh, oh my god, I just, I love it. So we'll go ahead and take her down as well. Uh, take a deep breath. Isn't the air delicious? Uh, and we will be able to destroy her little Hoppip, uh, which is the lightest Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. And a Skip Loom. And a, another Skip Loom. And that is it. So we were able to take her out super quick. Uh, and there is more trainers here. We're just going to go and battle every trainer that we can here on this path. All right. Uh, luckily, a Yanma. All right. We'll go ahead and take it down with Fly. And another Yama. We'll go ahead and take it down with Fly. So we're not using too much. Bahamut's just too good. And a Beedrill. Oh, I'll see a Beedrill. And level 59 Bahamut. All right. We're cruising on those levels. 
And down goes all of his beedrills and everything else that he had. Poor little guy. I haven't been using my item finder, uh, but that's actually fine. Not a big deal. There's not that many items. Oh, and we get to fight a pincer. Uh, one of my favorite. And our very own Heracross. There's no PP, so we're going to hit it with Blast Burn, which, of course, is super effective and will end its life. Uh, we could have hit it with Fly as well, because it's quad weak to Fly, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, we'll get out of here, and we'll fight this. All right. Uh, she has not very good Pokemon. I'm going to hit with a Dragon Claw and just see what happens. It's funny because they're not Fairy-typed yet, so it actually does some reasonable damage. Um, and a Clefable. I don't want to fight a Clefable. Her Clefable is more tanky than my Clefable. And she used Fly. Let's talk about that. And Minimize and is using... Oh, man. Okay. Took her down. Took her down. No problem. Uh, there's not much that you can do here besides catch a bunch of bug Pokemon. And obviously fight a ton of trainers. Which is... Which is, which is good. Um, we're going to take that down. We're actually going to switch out to Topher, uh, because we're going to start using Topher's Megahorn to take out these Pokemon. And a Victory Bell. Oh, have we fought a Victory Bell yet? I don't actually know. Uh, down it goes. We get a ton of experience for these fights, too. Not a ton, but, I mean, you know, pretty reasonable amount. 2,000 experience. And a Snubble! That is the first time that we are able to fight a Snubble. We'll go ahead and use Blast Burn, take it out. Level 60! Bahamut's already level 60. That's pretty crazy. Uh, only five more levels, and I'll consider him to be pretty decent. Pretty decent level. And another Heracross. We'll go ahead and use Fly. That will take it out because it is four times weak, like I said. Uh, and I think we already fought her. Yep. All right, so that's all of the trainers that we can find here. And, of course, uh, you can go ahead and fill your Pokedex by catching these really easy to find. Um, this kind of reminds me of Ravid Viridian Forest, um, which is kind of cool. All right, we caught Ladybug. Ladybug was added to the Pokedex. Now, it has a 5% chance, like I said, of being encountered in Fire Red, so this took a long time to find, but I'm glad we did. When the weather turns cold, numerous Ladybug gather together to cluster. Uh, there are various n forms of Ladybugs, or, you know, those type of beetles, that actually do that. So that's pretty cool that, that that's there. So down here, we can head towards Green Path. So there are absolutely no new Pokemon that we can find here, so we're just going to use Surf, and, uh, and we are definitely going to use a Max Repel because there's no reason to be here. We also only have one more uh, Ultra Ball, so we definitely need to buy some more. Um, we'll, and we need to buy some more Max Repels. I want to make sure that we get everything that we can. Um, I don't think there's obviously any items in the, um, you know, ground, but it's worth worth saying that that's a thing. Uh-huh, I was envisioning my house, but this is where I teleport? So we are going to find a, a Psychic Jacqueline randomly here, uh, who we're going to take out with a big blast burn to the face, to her Nato. Uh, and then we are going to switch to Topher, who's going to use um, Megahorn, even though I shouldn't have done that, but that's fine. Oh, I forgot about Psychic. Okay, whatever. Uh, we'll use Chew to use Thunderbolt, which will take down this Slowbro. We'll get a ton of experience. That Kadabra is going to come out. We're going to go ahead and use uh, another uh, Thunderbolt, and we will... I didn't even realize that, um, I wasn't even thinking. I'm so stupid. So up here is going to lead to a different area. Uh, we'll go ahead and fight this trainer, of course. Um, we're going to send out our very own, uh, Bahamut, which is going to take out her Meryl. And we can then continue on. So obviously we're seeing a ton more Pokemon now, which is super cool. Uh, and we can go ahead and do this double battle here. Uh, a Starmie and a Poliwhirl. It's interesting. Uh, obviously, I definitely want to fly on that Poliwhirl and use Thunderbolt on that Starmie. And I'm hoping that we will be able to take it out in one hit. Awesome. Great. Uh, Belly Drum. So it used Belly Drum. It will die in that next turn. Belly Drum makes his attack, go, attack stat go through the roof. Uh, which is not a big deal because we were able to kill him super easily. But I think that is the first time that we were also able to see Belly Drum, which is a wonderful ability for Charizard, by the way. Uh, so this Kingler, we're just going to fly and hit him, even though we know his physical defense is super high. Uh, he's going to use Protect twice. We'll still be able to take him down. And a War Turtle, uh, we'll use Fly yet again, even though we only have one. And uh, Dragon Claw will finish off that War Turtle. Uh, we desperately need a Pokemon Center. So then we can continue up here to this next place, which is... Um, called Outcast Island. And right here, we can grab this PP up, and we can go ahead and challenge this trainer, uh, who, for whatever reason, didn't want to fight us before. Uh, and this, he has some Quillfish, uh, which will go down no problemo, and Bahamut is already level 61, which is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch, oops, not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go ahead and switch Raichu here. All right, now let's continue out of here. I could have sworn, uh, okay, I did go the wrong way. That's okay. Uh, this will lead us over to a Rocket Grunt. 
There's no rare Pokemon around these parts, not a one. That burns me up, man. I'll take it out on you. So he's going to try to fight us. He has a Muck. Uh, we are going to, of course, switch to, I'm thinking, uh, Luna, of course. Um, I'd be stupid not to switch to Luna because she's going to use Psychic, which will be able to take out this Muck in two hits. And, of course, he has that Leftover, so we're going to stay in on this Golbat, use Psychic, take out that Golbat in one hit. Uh, this is when she actually becomes sort of useful. Uh, and we get that infatuation off and we will be able to take her out and Luna's gonna hit level 56 Luna is so much better now that she has psychic. I love it. I love it so much All right, so right here. We will find the altering cave the altering cave is only home to zoo bats That's it So make sure that uh, you are using a max repel because you don't want to be dealing with these super annoying Pokemon over and over and over uh, and we're about to run into some really cool Pokemon um, kind of soon and by really cool, I mean they're really bad, but they're really cool because they're so bad. So, right here, we're just looking for some items. Um, it's very interesting. This is a very interesting cave. There's not a lot here. Not a lot here at all. It's like there's almost nothing here. I wanted to show you guys this area, mostly so I can talk about what could have been. Because there's nothing that anyone has ever been able to do here in the Altering Cave, which is really sad. This is actually the Altering Cave is only home to Zubats right now. However, uh, Nintendo originally was going to be hosting mystery events type of things at any Nintendo event uh, that was going to be happening at all of these different things. So some of the Pokemon, uh, only through using Mystery Gift and whatnot, would change what Pokemon showed up in the Altering Cave. So, originally it was supposed to be like, Mareep was supposed to show up, Apom, Pineco, Shuckle, Teddy Ursa, Houndour, Stantler, Smurgle. They were supposed to be found uh, here at Altering Cave, depending on these events and all of these cool little things that were supposed to happen. For some reason, they never happened. So, Altering Cave is literally just here. That's it. It's too, super useless. There's absolutely nothing to do. Uh, so we are going to actually go ahead and see if we can fly back to uh, where we need to go. All right, so we're back here where we were. Now, if you remember, we were at the water path and we actually went up instead of down. Here now, we are going to go down. Oh wait, I need to do something else first. Crap, I need to make sure I have Ultra Balls. 50 Ultra Balls is enough, right? Okay, all right, let's get out of here real quick. We're going to go south into the area that we actually can. I could have sworn that I had a uh, thing up, but that's fine. And we kind of went down here at the beginning of this episode, but we didn't actually continue exploring. So we are going to go ahead and switch uh, Poseidon out here um, because this is obviously a hiker right here that we're going to have to battle. So let's go ahead and take him down. Tell me, where are the mountains around these parts? Well, you're kind of standing on them. Uh, so we'll go ahead, use Surf, take him down. Vaporeon will hit that uh, level, that beautiful level 57. Will you surf on that Machoke? Also take him down and get a ton of experience for that as well. Aren't there any mountains around this part? I don't know, man. I don't know. So we can continue south. This is actually the way that you need to go. Um, everything else is just extra that I wanted to show you guys. Little side quests, stuff like that. Uh, I also totally forgot. You know what? Let's go show our Heracross first, and then and then we'll deal with this. Okay, so we're back on this island, and now we can go, we have Heracross in our party, we can go talk to her, this is, uh, we, I just showed this, so I don't need to explain. Please, please, may I measure how big it is? And she will go ahead and look at our Heracross and measure it. Uh, eek, it's 59.1 inches, I've never seen anything like this, you deserve a reward. So you can either get luxury balls or nest balls and stuff like that. I want to see a much, much bigger Heracross than that one. Oh, how I adore them. So you just keep bringing her Heracrosses, and if you beat your previous one, she will go ahead and give you uh, a, a different ball um, I believe it's just nest ball and luxury balls but I could be wrong um, and if you know please let me know in the comments uh, everything that I've seen just says nest ball and luxury ball um, so let me know all right and then we'll go back to going towards ruin the ruins okay let's continue back on these ruins or on this trail to the ruins I should say and this will lead us to where we actually need to go so, uh, Ruin Valley. We're here in Ruin Valley. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of the Pokemon that we can find here in Ruin Valley. So the Pokemon that you can get here in Ruin Valley. The first one is Yanma, another bug flying type. However, it does have an incredible ability with speed boost. Unfortunately, its evolution is not available in this generation of the game. It's in the next generation that it's introduced. Its stats aren't very good, but that speed does help, and that speed only gets faster every single turn. Uh, that special attack stat is definitely workable. Not the best, but that speed is going to allow you to outspeed literally anything you 
find. 10% encounter rate, uh, I don't really recommend it. Uh, it's With its evolution in future generations though, Yanma and Yanmega are a force to be reckoned with. Next, we will look at Natu, which is a psychic flying type, which is actually pretty cool, pretty unique. Uh, in this generation. It has early bird or synchronize. I personally would go with synchronize. It evolves into Zatu at level uh, 25. Now, Natu has a 25% encounter rate, whereas N Zatu is not found in the game unless you evolve. Uh, it is very interesting because its Pokedex entry actually refers to South America, which it just weirds me out when Pokemon uses real world places. Uh, it's, it's just weird. It's just weird because we don't have jo Johto or Kanto, you know, in the real world or Alola. We don't have those. Um, I mean, yes, they're based on places, but we don't actually have them. So it's weird that they say in South America. Its stats are okay. That special attack, that speed, you're going to be able to do some damage. I don't think its typing actually helps it, though. And finally, let's look at the last Pokemon we can find here, Wobbuffet. This used to be one of the most broken Pokemon ever. Uh, its ability, Shadow Tag, the opponent cannot run or switch, meaning you come in, this thing, ha whatever you're facing, has to deal with you. That health pool is going to mean that it's going to be super annoying for it. Now, Wobbuffet doesn't have any attacking moves whatsoever unless it's already been attacked. It has counter and it only learns four level up moves. Destiny Bond being the most annoying. So basically, to get out of battle with Wobbuffet, you have to kill it. If it uses Destiny Bond on you, it's going to take you with it. So frustrating. And in fact, in Generation 3 over Wi-Fi battles, or or link battles, I should say, uh, Wobbuffets, if two Wobbuffets went together and each of them was holding a Leftovers, it would be an endless fight. It would never end. Ever. Unless you, like, quit the battle. Because the struggle, because that's the only thing you'd be able to use, a struggle, uh, doesn't do enough damage, the Leftovers would heal that struggle damage. So you would just be in an endless loop forever. Not a good Pokemon. 5% encounter rate. Don't recommend it. Alright, so before we continue too far into Ruin Valley, I thought I would just let you know that you should have a Pokemon that knows Cut on your team. Now, I actually switched out Raichu off screen, and I in included Sentret, and I actually taught it Cut and Surf. Uh, just because it serves as kind of a pretty decent HM slave at this point in the game, and we're not really going to use Raichu uh, during these battles that are coming up. So, you know, worth, worth mentioning. Now, it can't actually learn, surprisingly, this Pokemon cannot learn strength right now, which is which is super weird. Uh, but luckily we have Luna, so we'll just go ahead and do that. And then we'll pop that, and then in there, and then we can grab this item, which is a Sunstone, which is going to be necessary uh, as well. We're getting all of these items that are for evolutions and whatnot that will allow us to, like, you know, have Pokemon on our team that we couldn't have gotten before. So then we want to continue all the way around here, and we have another strength puzzle, it looks like, sitting over there. So there's no items that we can find using the item finder right around here, which is which is weird. I feel like there should be a ton, but there's not. Um, and we can go all the way down here if we so choose. Now, right over here is a pretty, uh, pretty interesting thing, and that is another strength puzzle. Obviously, we just knocked them out of the way and grabbed that, and it's an HP up, so worth grabbing. Uh, and then, obviously, no items, which is... There should be. And then right up here, we can continue. And of course, we'll have to fight this trainer to be able to get this item. But hopefully, it's worth it. So we'll go ahead and take him on. We are obviously going to use Surf on this Pseudo Wudo. And that is going to take care of him uh, very, very quickly. Uh, this is going to be... I think we just use this. And then, yeah, okay. Nice and easy. And we will get a full restore. So I guess I guess worth it, right? He only had one, he only had one Pokemon, which we were able to take out in a hit. So I'm not, you know, I'm not mad about it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad. We can go ahead and talk to this guy. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with the land around these parts. He's going to have a Rhydon, which is going to die instantly to us because we're so strong. And a Kangaskhan, uh, which is just an amazing Pokemon. As I've said before, I love it so much. Look how tanky that is. It actually even survives a... Uh, we need to use a Max Repel because I don't, I don't feel like dealing with these guys. I already caught everything I could get here. Um, so we'll continue on. And... Uh, there's no items. We'll go ahead and fight this guy because obviously trainers are worth fighting. Uh, especially at this point because the experience that they give is just so good. And the more we fight now, the less we have to train off screen later. So that's, you know, that's the idea. Uh, there's, uh, we're oddly enough, um, oh, 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 buddy. <laughs> we can go ahead and fight him. He's going to have a golem. That's the first golem that we've actually seen in game. Uh, so now we've seen him in our Pokedex, which is super cool. Uh, and we can go ahead and fight this last trainer as well. And he's going to have a Machoke and a, probably a Machamp. Um, nope, two Machokes. Easy peasy. 
and we'll get 2,000 Poké Dollars. Easy, easy, peasy, lemon, squee, C. Uh, and there's nothing here for items, even though I keep looking. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, there's nothing to get here surfing-wise. Let me double check something real quick. Yeah, I was right. There's no new Pokemon that we can find in the water here. Uh, just Wooper and Meryl, depending on the version that you're playing. Now, if we go ahead and do this, the door doesn't budge at all. I'll check it more thoroughly. On closer inspection, there are several dots on the door. Now, if you remember showing the alphabet that was in the other video that we did, the, um, uh, I forgot what it's called now, the map, the Mount Ember, when we found the ruby, um, we were able to find, uh, the alphabet was there. Now, if we go ahead, we can actually use, uh, we can go check our Pokemon here, use Sentret, and use Cut. We will go ahead, use Sentret, and that will open the door. That's what it said, is to use Cut. So, we find ourselves here in the Dotted Hole. The Dotted Hole is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't think there's any items or anything that we can find in here. But there is, if I'm not entirely mistaken, a sort of puzzle here. Uh, which is not that fun. Alright, let's drop down into this hole. Uh, which will bring us up. Okay, that's what I thought. So now is when the puzzle begins. So this first one is going to say up. So we want to go up. Uh, there's no items or anything. So we'll go to this up one. This second one is going to say left. Uh, so we want to go left. And then the next one... Let's see here. There's no items or anything. That says right. So we want to go into the right one. And then I believe the next one is obviously going to be down since we've already gone left. Up, right, uh, up, left, right, down. Okay, so this one's going to say down. We're going to go down. And look at what it is. Uh, this has one more braille here. And this actually says something super interesting. Um, there's a lot here. So let me find a translation for you, and I can say it real quick. All right, you guys ready for this? It's pretty cool. Let the two glittering stones, one in red, one in blue, connect the past. Two friends sharing power open a window to a new world that glows. The next world waits for you. I like it. Let's go ahead and take this sapphire. Corey found a sapphire. All right. Oh, shit. Foo, 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 foo. I guess right. I was right in telling you. I knew that there was a sapphire here, so it belongs to me. I'll sell it to Team Rocket for serious money. Don't glare at me like that. If you want it back, why don't you go get it after I sell it? I'll even tell you one of the passwords to Team Rocket's warehouse. The warehouse password I know is yes, nah, Chansey. That is yes, nah, Chansey backwards. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. Okay. What are those called? What's it called when things are the same thing backwards? It's called a word that I can't think of right now. All right, so we will go ahead and use this, which will bring us back up to the top of the dotted hole. There are no new Pokemon that you can find here at the dotted hole, which is very interesting. Uh, and that is all that we could do here. So we'll go ahead and use our dear old Bahamut to fly us back to the Six Island. That is it. We've done everything on Four and Six Island in the post game. And we now have both passwords to get to the rocket base, which now we need to do, because not only are they selling Pokemon, holding Pokemon hostage, but they also have the Sapphire Stone, which we need uh, for our friend Chelio. Um, so I'm going to also switch out my Sentret, because we don't need it anymore, and add Raichu back to the party. All right, everyone, let's go and head to the fifth island. This is pretty exciting. We've explored a lot. We've done a lot so far in the game. Uh, we've done everything that we can do here at these islands. We've caught everything that we can catch. And now we need to actually go and uh, and deal with this rocket threat. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to go to Vermilion. That's unfortunate. I, I will do that all the time. So we'll go to Five Island. Okay, everything's in order. And we find ourselves finally here at Five Island. So let's go ahead. Check what's going out. What's going down? Uh, there are no new items, I believe, that we can find around here, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Um, although there should be. Oh, look at that. We need Cut to get that item. And I just took Sintra out of my party. Alright, so in the next episode, uh, we will deal with everything that we can do here on Five Island. Thank you all very much for watching. We are so close to being done with the series. I love you all. Never give up. Never surrender.